Have you ever called a bubble screen when you thought that you had an advantage on the right side of the field, left side of the field, wherever it may be, and you just see, okay, outside linebacker over the slot, off coverage, could possibly be a soft zone. I think I've got the play here. And then when you go to throw it, you don't really get as many yards as you want out of it. I mean, right there, Percy Harvin did have pretty good spacing from the strong safety here on the play. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the middle linebacker in the flat zone. But he didn't really get what you wanted out of him. Now, that's a problem with this year's game is that, you know, the I think that the bubble routes get way too deep on their uh, the swing. Like, when you look at a game in real life, bubble routes, they basically turn perpendicular to the line of scrimmage and kind of pedal sideways into the flat. And, or I'm sorry, they're parallel to line of scrimmage, and they pedal sideways into the flat looking for a forward pass or a pass down the line of scrimmage that's going to allow them uh, to catch the ball and run forward with momentum. Unfortunately, they get really deep, almost four yards deep in the backfield, and things like this happen. Now, something that a lot of people don't know is that while the bubble screen plays have pretty good blocking programming, which is why people come out in them and then audible into the run plays in that same formation to get the good blocking, is they don't know that they can actually make their bubble screens a little bit more effective by simply putting their receivers on flat routes. It's going to allow you to deliver the ball perpendicular to the line of scrimmage and get a few more yards after the catch. Now, what you're seeing here is with Harvin, as opposed to going four yards deep, he's now running down the line of scrimmage and we're delivering the ball out in the flat. So this is just a short tip to get you to think about what you can do on offense in the current gen as well as the next gen version of this game. Instead of maybe using these lesser effective bubble routes, maybe just put your player on a simple flat route and run the bubble concepts this way. Because as you can see here, you get a little bit better blocking, the ball's thrown out quickly into the flat, and it's something that you can use to help get yourself positive yards as opposed to taking a gamble on having a bad throw, the player reacting, or something of that nature. So go ahead and take a look at that, and I hope you guys enjoy your Thanksgiving holiday. Thanks.